Hello everyone, Stars RJ here, so I tip the scales with another game of Rise of Nations, Rise of Legends. Alright, so um, in the last video we started the Kuwano campaign and General Carlini's dead. Yeah, that's, that's secretly why I didn't actually level up too much, because I know he was going to die in this campaign, so investing too many levels into him would, um, you know, essentially just be a waste. But I did it anyway because, you know, hey, want to keep the suspense off. <laughs> didn't think that wanted to happen. I mean, if I went back to the Vinci campaign and said, I'm not going to level up Carlini at all, people would be like, why? Is he going to die or something? He'd be like, uh, yeah. Or whatever, I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> let's, um... Let's, uh, let's show off how the Quarter works. These monstrosities who lead the Quarter people call themselves gods. They had best hope to be correct. I have lost my brother, my city, and Carlini to their ambitions. Nothing sure of divine intervention will save them from my vengeance. Oh, Giacomo is pissed. We are faced with a new and terrifying problem. The god of death, who leads the false Quattle gods, has devised a horrific means for defending his domain. Uh-oh. Plague. Oh. His own followers are immune to it. But if my forces advance any further into the jungle, we would all die a slow and agonizing death. I see. We have a slim thread of hope against this threat. Yontash, the man we saved from the crypt, says he can create an antidote. But unfortunately, the materials he needs to protect us all are deep within the lands of our enemy. Oh. With what limited supplies he has here, Yontash can create only enough antidote for half my army. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense to break my forces apart. The Alim fight better as a unified whole. As do my own Vinci. I must choose between magic and technology for this final battle. I must weigh this decision carefully, in my heart, as well as my mind. Okay. So, you have a choice to make here. You can either go with the Vinci or the Galene. It doesn't actually matter too much. I mean, it just depends on, it just depends on your hero selection. So if you choose the Arlene, you get, you get all the magical heroes, and the mana costs, and the... Whatever. <sighs> whatever. I always choose tech. If I am to defeat the false gods, I must rely on that which I know best. I am an inventor, first and above all. Lenora and her Parada Air Force have never let me down. And I can't imagine facing this final threat without her. We... We work well as a team. I'll need her by my side. <sighs> Ari and the Aline will remain behind. So I'd like to defend the border. It will be up to them to find a way to defeat the Death God. Yeah, it's just some pet 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 excuse so you don't get so many heroes at once. Anyway, so here's how the Kawada works. Um, you got your capital? To defeat the Quaddle, we need to explore the potential of this technology. Building right. up a small contingent of these forces should suffice. Alright, so here's how it works. Okay, so this is gonna make a uh, this can do energy and mining up stuff. So here's how, here's how it all works. The koala do not trade. Okay, the koala do not trade. What you do is you build up enough, you build up enough timonium to uh, do a sub to subjugate. Reduces the health of all defenders by 90% and the health of the site reduces 25%. So you're gonna attack a site directly or build up enough resource to go smash the site. Subjugate the site and, um, yeah, bring it in. Okay, so what you can also have here is a reactor district, is the is the holy district. This is the unique structure. I mean, the reactor district is essentially the merchant district, and it gives you research points when you build them. So, I like working with those. Increase your resource cap. These also produce energy. Yeah. More sites to control, the more energy I get. Energy is is also useful. Okay, I can also turn that into a large city. You know, you gather a lot of res. Like I think the um, I think these guys have the highest resource gathering rate. I think. All right. So as for tech, as for the techs, this divine power increase gives you gives you your superpower, which is essentially, which essentially is an ion cannon. Okay, particle cannon, but whatever. Alright, uh, what are my quests? So, build a fang, subjugate a neutral site. 
Right. So you've got military districts, provide sentinel, but only when a city grows. So don't build your mil like build your military districts and stuff, but only build them. We think you're gonna get the forces when the, when you get. Think you're gonna get the forces immediately when when you upgrade. So I think I'll make the city great. It'll um, not give me any sentinels. All right, back to tech. Okay, judgment increases uh, adds shields to everyone. First first level adds shields. I'm gonna do that right now. Also increases your retimonium income. All right. Um, Makes sentinels. This is gonna this improves the attack of your sent of your units. So do that. Things move faster and carry more units. All right, and also your holy arcs are your supply wagons, and they also can heal. So I'm going to do that. Oh. Oh, right, yeah. You gain research points and you add districts to your cities. You don't gain them when you um, build reactors, you gain them when you... Okay. Yeah, shut up, shut up, tutorial guy. Just want to um, demonstrate what they all have. So, what does the um, what are the, what are the quartals um? So the quart the quartals air unit. The quartal the quartals um transport unit. Let's see, improve the mine. Yeah, I'll improve the mine here. Yeah, so the um, quartals transport unit. Is um okay. Oh, and you get a free, free holy arc. Oh, right. So the holy arc can also do. It can also channel its power into other buildings. I forgot about that part. So as you can see, it um, channels its power. And increases the and increases the mine's um, gathering rate. So I'm going to improve the mine here. Cost energy, of course. Those so was build more reactors. When you subjugate a site, when you, yeah, that's what happens when you subjugate a site. Damages the city and stuff, but you get. And it stuns and it stuns the defenders, but you get them and they're damaged, but then also the city's damaged, but you can rebuild it. Can you have the technology? Let's see. Um what else do I research? Ah! Judgment also is a good idea to keep going with. Build this to increase the population cap, okay. Good plan, good plan. Good plan indeed. Alright, we've got more, more neutral sites over here. Okay, and also get a holy arc over every one of them. You can't, oh, you can't actually. Yeah, and, and you need more, and to build more holy arcs, you need more districts of, you need more holy districts. So just keep that in mind. Alright. Slow, slowly, slowly learning how the quarts will work. Also, all the buildings are, are um, linked together. Oh. I guess they didn't like me being there for too long. Well, well it's no matter. The shrine is a defensive building that also expands your borders. So, you know, shoot at it. Ah, okay. Oh, should also mention Giacomo now has a um, different set of powers. And so that means I need to re 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 um, rewrite his tech. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade that. So Giacomo can do a purify, which uh, damages the enemy but heals your units in the same radius. Creates a mirror image, which is essentially a hallucination that does actual damage, and reduce the enemy's range. Don't really see it being that useful. Let's put a mine down here. 
Just want to test out all the text before I before I move on. Done a reactor district here. These lasers take a lot of power. As for um, put another reactor in. Reactor, but I hardly knew her. Ha ha ha! Right. Well, I want to capture a lot of sites before um, the uh, actual well, the games begin. And no, uh, you can't turn Timonium into um. You can't turn Timonium into into energy unless you build a reactor, which you know technically is. Oh, I'll take it. Anyway, so I can build six miners here. So it seems palace districts are also cheaper for the quasal, but it requires energy as well. Okay. Uh, let's channel some power. Increase the output of the mine. Yeah, so, like I said, I'm probably, uh, like, I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out how everything works. So personal personal shields, you have to activate them manually, which is a, which is a bad, which I think is a bad idea. Okay, I'm trying to think what's a scout unit. Oh right, okay, channel power effect is that. It actually tells you what the channel power effect is, so your mind has become better. Power is being channeled into it. Makes sense. I'm gonna build another holy district, need another arc. Oh, Giacomo also comes to hybrid clockwork men. Okay. Essentially it has a bit I think it has a laser gun. That's it. Always want a laser gun. So the entire Koalos thing is mostly about getting the sentinels online, I guess. Site subjugated. And this thing produces energy. Well, it's not, not damage at all. <laughs> Thought it was. Nope, it's not. Alright, get the Holy Ark here. It's our, this is our supply unit. And so there's a... Shoot the Holy Ark first. This is the name, aim of the game, I guess. You always get resources immediately when you, um... You get resources immediately. When you research certain techs. Alright, I think we're all ready to go. Let's do it. I, mean, I could have built a fane, but hey. Let's bring on the pain. While we're at it. Destroy that obelisk! Even if Yontash's magic comes through, our troops are stretched thin, with no hopes of reinforcement. Hmm. But the jungle itself seems to offer us a solution. I see. There's a rebellion brewing among the Quattle, led by a man named Kukula. Kukula has pledged his followers, the Fallen, to our cause. Together, we will march against the false gods and their servants. Hmm. The cooler has arrived. Oh, okay. So that's so he just. Okay, Norton now. Let's build the fane. Oh, and a fallen refuge, huh? Place one here. Oh, that's the shrine. Can we subjugate this. Yes, we can. Interesting. Giacomo, I've got reinforcements on the way. They should be here any minute. Thanks, Lenora. I can need the reinforcements. Where's the cooler? Oh, he's just over there. Cooler, let's see. Destruction of fallen refuges. Okay, so you can create. Oh, right. Unholy Ark, huh? No combat strength, but does the damage to nearby enemy units. And it's other supplies. 
As a former servant of the false gods, I have knowledge of their temples and sanctuaries. I will share it with you now. And look at Fallen Snake. Right, I like to see this unholy arc in action. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird one. <laughs> it's just a weird. That's just that's just a weird unit to me. I think that's just weird. And upgrade the shrine while you're at it. <laughs> wow! It just <laughs> like I said. That that is just weird. So the Vinci army arrived in over eight minutes. I think I'll be done by then. So I'm going to kind of delay a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Uh, let's see. So I, want, cause I want to see what exactly kind of Vinci unit reinforcements we get. What well, variety right Lenora got today? I want to know! Yeah, I should have, um... Should have researched the, um... What do I call it? The... Um... Ugh, should have the Holy Districts. Uh, react... Reactors. Dozers. Build more reactors! Lasers take a lot of power. Yeah, that sort of thing. Seven miners, huh? Still, this is an interesting building. Interesting unit. Does holy <laughs> does does damage? <laughs> it creates an attrition field. We got the fallen warriors. The fallen jaguar. Meow. And a siege elephant. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to build one. Hmm. Alright, that's also an um, interesting unit to have. Trample that. We will trample our enemies! Give them a dose of poison. So our quests are the fallen must not lose all their cities. Giacomo, send yourself forward. Go attack, everyone move in. Everyone move in, you're also part of the group. So, stomp, laser blast, and dispersal field. I have subjugated your transmuter. Oh, okay, so here is the Fane. The Fane can lift off to travel to a new location and can garrison units to act as a transport. Yeah, so it's your barracks and it's a barracks and a transport unit. As tutorial guy just, just said there. And you get more and they get better as you uh, research if you research along the worship lines. Can I subjugate that structure? Probably not, he's probably already captured it. Looks like the Pantheon's probably going to be captured. We're under fire, sir! Now oh, we've got another Holy Ark. Yeah, let's, let's, get, some, let's get five more miners in here. Get the incoming priest. Get this palace online. Oh, okay, now, now I can build the rest of its sanctuaries, for example. Sanctuaries are, um, basically fortresses. Disembark. Need them. Activate shields! Raise the shields! Okay, we've got the Great Shrine. We get that sanctuary constructed. Giacomo! So here's, I think, how it works. You fire, the, you fire this blast here. 
Yeah, it heals it, heals it, that, and then your enemies get destroyed. Oh, Siege Elephant, okay. And he's a Fallen Priest. Put Siege Elephant with a bit more mighty. Yeah, it's never going to forget that, right? Mm hmm. Oh, another reactor district here. And another reactor district here. So I want to get the worship tech in. We will trample our enemies! And there's the enemy Fane. So yeah, it's, it's an interesting... Uh, uh, the Fane is just an interesting sort of transport. Because the fact is you can... land it somewhere and it'll... and start producing troops. Oh yeah, using the laser sound from Siberian Sun. Sort of. Reminds me of it. That. Uh, let's see. Ah! <laughs> yeah, keep shooting it. Okay, everyone, attack! That includes the elephant. I mean, you are called a siege elephant. Everyone shoot those guys. Oh, we're getting so many resources. Summon up Venza. And the Sun Cannon. Easy your siege gun. Easy your siege cannons. Fire that. Fire that. Release the um, gun turrets. Power up the shields! First produce a sun cannon. Beam cannon ready to go. Yeah, just shoot that big laser. But it can also do burning damage, I think. It's best against buildings, but it does a, um... I think it does a number on enemy infantry. I think you may have had to upgrade it. Yeah, you probably have to upgrade it for it to um, be forced to do a number against infantry. I'm a fire in my laser! Alright, uh, so you have to be that close to use it. Sorry, cool, but your abilities suck. Blam! Steal their stuff. Yeah, get up there. Burn everything. Burn all the things. Move the unholy arc in. And Holy Ark is just an interesting thing, just how it, just how it functions. It provides supplies and... <laughs> does efficient damage to enemies on their own friggin' territory. And then we have the Fallen Priest. Alright. I think you gotta have like a line of sight, yeah. Gotta have line of sight. So Lenora, push to all range mode. Get over there. Prepare to jump. Oops, ah, wrong ability. Prepare to moon jump here. Moon jump initiated. Boom. Aha! Moon jump. Yontash was true to his word. His strange potions were proof against the Quadal Plague. I still think it's snake and oil. With the discovery of a new ally, victory seems just within our grasp. Yeah, I still think it's snake oil, though. 
I mean, it's probably made from robot snake oil. <laughs> Not saying it's bad or anything, just said it's probably it's made from robot snake oil. So anyway, I think most of the Kawado campaign is going to consist of, um... Okay, so again, these, um, cost energy, and what do you get in return? Yeah, you get one energy per turn. But you do get a nice head start on the, um... You do kind of do get a nice head start on the wealth this time, because look, you're producing two per turn, so next turn you'll be able to produce three! Whereas before, you started with one per turn, then two per turn, three per turn, then probably six per turn. This one is a one, you get a one turn head start. And looks like Sa I can still um, use Sawu. Hmm. So let's see, now everyone's got um, new abilities to work with. Giacomo has to, um... Ooh. Wow. Luna Twinkle. Okay, Lenora has also got some new, new, new abilities. So one shot for small units, two shots for medium units. That's actually a rather stupid ability because the um, piracy ability takes like five minutes to recharge. So that's stupid. Well, apocalypse now. Enhance boosters. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I can probably take that away. Yeah, I can't make her a uh, level five pirate. Well, Destruzio can still be dead to me. But yeah, er everything is. Everything is at. Er there's more stuff you can add to everyone. Yeah, so let's go with that. And there's also, also tech research. Let's see, you can upgrade to Guardians. So it's, like the Vin it's got, sort of like the Vinci tech line. Sort of. You've got the Scout Eyes, you've got the Quetzal Fighters, Eagle Bombers, Storm Discs. I think I'm going to stick. I think I'm going to start using that. I'm going to use these two. Then again, we have the Sun Idol. Oh, and the Death Sphere. So there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff to research, a lot of stuff to do, as per usual. And I start with six army points, so... Why wouldn't I go for a Siege Cannon? And Sentinels. Of course, because Sentinels seem to have a um, significance here. But that'll be for another time. I'm Styles RJ, and I'm going to tip the scales in the favour of the Kuatal. Signing off.